we're going to build a table of contents. So this document has 31 pages, just Edgar Allan Poe poems. And just to remind yourselves here, you do need to make sure you have paragraph styles defined. So this uh, title alone has a, if I click on it, it shows me that it's formatted with the basic, um, sorry, paragraph style. Okay. So if I go to my pages panel, go to the four or five spread, and I click on this, I want to just make sure again that that's something you're going to have to remember as you build your table of contents. All right, so to build the table of contents, let's go to our page. Um, let's just start on page one. We're going to build our table of contents for uh, on a new page. <coughs> Excuse me, but. Uh, we'll do that in a second. First, let's define the style for the table of contents that we're going to set up. So we go to Layout, Table of Contents. And I'm going to delete this one so I can do a whole new one for you. Go to New, and we're going to name it. I'm just going to call it Poe TOC. This is the actual text that will appear, so whatever you want to title on the page. So table of contents. Now, how you want the table of contents, those actual words, table of contents to appear. Um, if you want it to match your poem titles, you can pick that from here. And then, in the table of contents, what do we want to include? We want to include the poem title, so it'll say uh, what page each poem is located on. So we go to poem title, which is our paragraph style. Add it over here. Do not add basic paragraph, because we don't want each paragraph having its own page number because that would be really really long. Alright, so that's it there. Under the poem title, how do we want it to display? Well, I would just pick basic paragraphs so that it matches the same fonts as you use for all of the poem text. And we want our page number after the entry and it's going to give us a separator here. This is indicating it's going to be a tab which is what we want. Um, you don't need to necessarily format your page numbering because it should pull from the basic paragraph style we already created. Um, we don't want them in alphabetical order and we do not need PDF bookmarks and we don't need to include paragraph numbers would be excessive so take that out. Alright, so we're just again defining the style for the table of contents. All right, so there's our table of contents that we set up. Now we're going to add a new page at the very beginning of our document. So we're going to add one page at the start of the document. We don't want a page number, so I'm going to say apply none master style, which has no page numbering. Click OK. Here's page one, no, t no page numbering. Notice there's no A here because we did not apply A master. All right, let's dump in our table of contents under layout. This time you go to table of contents, pick which table of contents you made. It should only be one. There it is. It's just saying which one you want to use. And it should load your cursor with the table of contents and drag and drop it in. And <clears throat> it pulled this format because we said format the table of contents with the um, poem title and the rest of this is just basic paragraph text. So I'm going to go under type show hidden characters. So again, if you look, these little double arrows indicate that the tab key was used. Okay, just so you're aware. You don't have to see them. If they bother you, you can turn it off. What we want to do now is do our tabs, and I've set up another video for tabs. I'm going to quickly run through the tabs here. So type tabs. Remember, push it up, and then use it magnet to lock it in. We're going to set up a right align tab wherever you want it to show up, and if we want dot leaders, I'm going to set it up without. I'm going to choose a right align tab right about here. If I want to move it, I can, whoops, if I don't want one, I can pull it off and then adjust this one. Okay, come on, there we go. 
All right, so we have dropped in our right align tab. If we want a dot leader separator, we just type a period in. I'm just going to press my tab key to get out of that box. And of course, it didn't work. Let's see. Let's try that again. I'm going to force the dot leader, add the right align tab right here, and Seems like you have to do everything twice. Sometimes you do. But anyway, so you've built your table of contents here with a dot leader. And that's how you build your table of contents. If you wanted to format your table of contents over, you could. Um, I do not advise editing the actual text from here. If you wanted to edit your table of contents, you can go into your layout, table of contents style, and edit if you want to change anything. But I'm just going to leave this because it looks perfectly fine to me, but you can go back in and edit if you need to.